Hello, I am Sam the Stem, and coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be seeing who are the top 10 pitchers in MLB who are playing right now. Um, this is the second video in my series. Um, the first one was yesterday where I looked at who are the top 10 position players in the MLB who are currently playing, and now I'm going to be looking at who are the top 10 pitchers. For the purposes of this list, I will be like, if they're not good right now, then I won't be including them on this list, but I will be taking like career into consideration to see if they've been consistent but if someone is like really bad now just had a great career I won't include them for that um, and without further ado let's get into it first let's look at number 10 it's Hinjin Ryu he had a fantastic 2019 he went 14 and 5 with a 2.32 ERA which won the ERA title a 179 ERA plus he had 182.2 innings pitched 163 strikeouts he had a 1.007 whip and he had five war that year um he he won the ERA title like I said the reason I can't like rank him any higher is because this was his first big year he's been like sidelined by injury for a lot of his career he did win the year title this year which is like i said that's a really big achievement but i mean in his all of his career he's only had 14.8 war so i can't really rank him in here number nine is jeff flaherty another player who really stepped up this another yeah, player who really stepped up this year. He went 11 and 8 with a 2.75 ERA, a 155 ERA plus, you know, 196 in a third innings pitch. He had 231 strikeouts, an 0.968 WHIP, which led the NL, 5.8 WAR, and um, yeah, that's it. Um, same with Hinjin Ryu. I just can't rank him any higher because he hasn't done much in his career. In his, all of his career, he has 8.4 war. But I decided to put him above Ryu because he had a better year. And I think he's going to be better next year. So that's why. Number 8 is an example of a player who's... He wasn't the best in 2019, but has had a great career. And was still pretty good in 2019. Clayton Kershaw. In 2019, he went 16-5 and five with a 3.03 ERA, a 137 ERA+. Plus, in 178 and a third innings pitch, he struck out 189 batters with a 1.043 whip. He had 3.1 war that year. So that those numbers don't sound amazing, but, I mean, he's Clayton Kershaw. Um, I think that next year he will be good. It's just a hunch, but I think we know what he can do because in his career he's won an MVP award, three Cy Youngs, and a 67.9 war. So we know that he is a phenomenal pitcher. pitcher. Number seven is Mike Miner. Last year he went 14 and 10 with a 3.59 ERA, a 144 ERA plus, in 208 and one third innings pitched. He struck out 200 batters. He had a 1.238 WHIP, which doesn't sound great, but he had 7.7 .7 WAR. This is mostly due to the fact he played in a very high offense ballpark. In um, he he's a Texas Ranger, and that was a very high offense ballpark that year. Um, same with a lot of guys in the list, unless I just can't rank him any higher because he hasn't had a great career. He only has 17.7 war in his career. Um, yeah, so just sort of like other guys. Number six is his teammate, Lance Lynn. This year he went 16-11 and 11 with a 3.67 ERA, a 141 ERA+, plus, 208 and a third innings pitched, 246 strikeouts, a 1.219 whip, 7.5 war. Um, these two have a lot in common. Uh, they had very similar seasons. Um, he has 21.9 war in his grade, which is slightly more than mine, which is why I ranked him above him. Um, these two are sort of like the opposite of Clayton Kershaw, whereas Kershaw has had a great career and a pretty good 2019. Um, these two had a great 2019, but like, a, eh, okay, like rest of their, like the other part of their career wasn't so great. It's sort of the opposite, it's just cool. Number five is Steven Strasburg. Boy, was he good this year. He went 18-6 and six with a 3.32 ERA, a 138 ERA plus. In 209 innings pitch, he struck out 251 batters. He had a 1.038 whip, 6.4 war. He won the World Series MVP, and in his career, he has 33.5 war. Again, one of these players who really had stepped up this year. Um, I th think just based on how he's been better his career than Lynn and Minor. I think that's why I did rank him higher. I think you can expect to see big things from him in the future. Number four is his teammate, Max Scherzer, Mad Max. 
He went 11 and 7 with a 2.92 ERA, a 157 ERA plus, and 172 in the third innings. He struck out 243 batters. He had a 1.027 whip and 5.7 war. Wow, in his career, he's won three Cy Youngs and a 60.1 war. Um, not a better season than Strasburg, but just based on the consistency of his career and how he's, he is a legend, I that's why I am ranking him higher. Number three is Justin Verlander. He won the Cy Young this year, going 21-6 and six with a 2.58 ERA, a 179 ERA+, and 223 innings pitch. He struck out exactly 300 batters, but here's the really amazing set. An 0.803 whip. I've been talking about whip a lot. Whip is walks and hits per inning pitched. So on average, he would allow 0.803 runners on base via a walk or a hit every inning, which is amazing. It was the best in the majors. He had 7.3 war that year. Like I said, won the Cy Young his crew. He's won another one. He's a two-time Cy Young winner. He's won Rookie of the Year. He's won an MVP. He's won ALCS MVP. And in his crew, he's won 71.6 war. Next, let's look at his former teammate, Garrett Cole, who went 20-5 and with a 2.50 ERA, a 185 ERA plus, in 212 and one-third innings pitch. He struck out 326 batters, which was the major league high, and had a 0.895 whip, which is amazing. He was, like, one of the, in, he was, like, in the top, like, he was in the race for who's the, who has the best whip, but, like I said, Verlander had a better whip. Verlander is incredible at having good whip, which is, it's just his thing, he has great whip, like, every year, but Garrett Cole had a fantastic whip, um, he had 6.5 war that year, um, he's won an ERA title, and in his career, he has 23.9 war, but I expect, now that he's in the Bronx, um, I'm, I think he's gonna be great for, like, a lot more years, and number one, it's Jacob deGrom. Man, is Jacob DeGrom good. He went 11-8 and eight with a 2.43 ERA, a 167 ERA+, plus, and 204 innings pitched. He struck out 255 batters, had an 0.971 whip, which was second in the NL behind Flaherty. Um, he had 8.2 war. He won the Cy Young. Like Verlander, he's won two Cy Youngs, also Rookie of the Year, and has 35.5 war in his career. Um, I think he's just going to keep being great for the next couple of years. He is definitely the best pitcher in baseball. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!